guys. I just thought I'd film a little afternoon in the life for you. And what are we starting with, Aubrey? I don't know, brushing my hair, cutting my hair. And we're gonna cut your hair because little Missy got a hold of some scissors because she really wants bangs because she's tired of all of her hair just falling in her face. <laughs> so I was like, even though I'd prefer to ha keep her hair nice and long, I would rather cut the bangs myself than have her do it. So that's what we're gonna start our afternoon uh, with. <laughs> I just got Jack down for a nap. So while <laughs> so while we are kind of still kind of dirty from being outside, I'm gonna brush and cut her hair and then probably get some of the mushrooms out of our grass because we have so many mushrooms growing and then uh, come back inside and probably get cleaned up make some dinner and all of that other stuff. We'll get into it, but let's go ahead and give this girl some bangs. Bang. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. And uh, mommy, are you gonna film it? Yeah. Yeah. First, we're gonna put this on you. Is it ginormous? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because you can use it for big people too. Are you sure you know how to do bangs? Yeah, I'm gonna do it for the first time in my whole life. But we're getting all the tangle monsters out so that they don't mess up your bangs. Mm. You're gonna look so different. Why? You think I'm a new person yeah. when I'm just Aubrey? Yeah. So I think bangs were always kind of like in the cards for Aubrey because her hair just wants to go straight down her face. Ever since she was a little baby, from the beginning of our videos on YouTube, She's always had hair that goes straight in front of her face. So I think it was meant to be, but I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna be sad to see this hairstyle go for a while. And then afterwards, we'll probably straighten out the back since we're cutting the hair anyways. Mm -hmm. Look at this. <laughs> you look like cousin it. Let's see, let's get a good before shot of you. And smile. Oh, beautiful. I don't wanna go too far back to get these bangs. I'm sure that you may make me look cookie, like Cookie Monster. Are you scared I'm gonna make you look like Cookie Monster? Yeah. What does Cookie Monster look like? Blue. Blue? I'm not gonna make you look blue just by cutting your hair. I'm sure you're gonna make me make a bear. A bear? <laughs> First, we start with a center part. From like back here, down there. We're gonna start off nice and small for right now and gradually, possibly, add more hair to this bunch. Okay, <laughs> but look at mommy. As when I cut your hair, you have to be very still. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna just. Okay, look at the camera. <laughs> what? Look at this hair. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hey, listen. Help you. <laughs> okay. All right, keep your head still, okay? Look nice. <laughs> okay, close your eyes. <laughs> what are you doing? That's so <laughs> I I want my eyebrows cut too. No. <laughs> 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 All right. There, hold on. What did you do? You took this out. <laughs> so happy. You're so happy. All right. So. Mm. We're gonna cut it. I almost look like Adway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you crossing your eyes?
You think you like your brown eyes after all? Mm -hmm. And what makes you say that? Because I have chocolate chip eyes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> all right, look at the camera. <laughs> look at the evil as we. I want to see. Want to see what it looks like? I can think as we. So take it off. Do you love it? Yeah. All right, but now I have to trim the back of your hair, okay? Yay. Yay, I love mommy so much. I will see. Mm, are you okay? I okay? Are you okay, God? Uh, <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and trim the back of your hair now. Are you chill? I think I'm happy with this, but if I need to adjust it later, I can. Now it's gonna look like you're a superhero cake. Is it exactly what you wanted it to be? Yeah. Okay, perfect. That's what I wanted for you. All right, YouTube, what do you think? Did I do an okay job? <laughs> Aubrey, what do you think? I did a lovely job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see if there's any other spare hairs. Oh, I see some. Oh, get out of there. Get out of <laughs> Aubrey's eyes. Get out of Aubrey's eyes. Get out. Mommy, could you cut my eyebrows one day when I'm seven? When you're seven, maybe. Let me think about it. Yay. I want, Mommy, when, Mommy, when I'm seven, I want no eyebrows. No. I want you to cut all my eyebrows off a little bit. What? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to quit on ice cream. <laughs> okay, now smile at the camera for the after shot. What do you think? You want your hair down? See what it looks like down? Now shake your head.
So obviously cutting hair outside probably wasn't the wisest choice, but I think I did an okay job on like the, her backside and you know, it is what it is. I can always touch it up and her hair is always flowing around anyways. Like it's never going to be perfectly straight. So if there is a, you know, a chunk of hair that I like didn't make even or whatever, I'll fix it. But I think it turned out okay. And I actually think she looks pretty cute. I had bangs similar to that when I was little. So I feel like she's like a mini me in some sense, even though everyone says she looks like Juan, which I think Jack looks more like me than she does. I'll give everyone that. But if you look at pictures of me when I was little, I think, you know, we definitely look similar. But anyways, now that the haircut is done and I'm a little still dirty, I'm going to go ahead and get all these mushrooms out of our grass. There's so many mushrooms and kind of clean up around here and then we'll go inside and get some more stuff done. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Okay, so I'm glad those mushrooms have been picked up because uh, usually we cut the grass like on Fridays or Saturdays and today's Friday when I'm filming. And so I don't want us to like cut the grass and just like behead all of the mushrooms and like leave the roots and stems still there. So really wanted to pick that up so that when we do cut the grass, you know, there's not too many mushrooms left. I, there's probably some hiding in the grass, but I did the best I could and as you saw, there's a lot of mushrooms that I picked up. Okay, so I know I recently showed you guys these. I know I have a lot of weeds that need picking, but these flowers, the alyssum, are starting to bloom here. And especially over here, like where I initially dumped the seeds, they're looking really pretty. And eventually like this whole, whole, this whole thing will be just filled with like white flowers. Cause like one plant alone can produce so many white flowers. I might have, I have one more bag of seeds, so I might, you know, put some in this little area here, in like the little empty areas, and then, you know, kind of fill in the rest of the space. And I think it will look really nice really soon. But now that that's done, I'm just gonna sweep up some of the mulch that the chickens kind of kick out when they're free ranging, kind of clean up around here just a little bit, and then we're gonna head inside. I'm gonna prep some pizza dough, at least get the ingredients in my bread maker. And I'll show you guys like some of the Parmesan little bites that I make later on. They are a hit. They're inspired, I think, where do we get them? I think it's from Domino's that we get like the Parmesan pizza bites or whatever. They're really yummy. And I was like, I think I could make something similar at home. And I think for the most part, I don't have a total dupe, but it's very close and we all love them. So I'll be sharing that with you today, but let's go ahead and sweep up this mess because it's bothering me. Looks like we're getting some new growth on our lemon tree and our one lemon still kind of looks the same, but hopefully it'll be ripe eventually and we can make the smallest glass of lemonade. Hey there, little lady. We got our three eggs for the day. The other little girls aren't laying yet. Hey there, you guys. Thanks for the eggs today. And picking up these eggs reminds me I need to wash our eggs. We've collected a dozen now, so 
it's time for me to wash them to make sure they don't pile up too much on our kitchen counter. Oh, cute. What is that, Aubrey? It's a caterpillar. So while these are soaking, this one is huge, ginormous. <laughs> like I have man hands and it's just so big. I'm gonna break out the small egg that I got from them a long time ago. It's obviously still good because the ones you get at the store are weeks old. Um, we hard boiled it, so we're gonna go ahead and compare this in size. And I'm gonna open up that one as well as another larger hard boiled egg. Okay, so these are all hard boiled eggs. This is the mini one that I was telling you guys about. It's so itty bitty. Like, look at this one, it kind of was like a weird long one. <laughs> and then this one was like a pretty chubby one. Just the size comparison is crazy. So let's go ahead and crack these open. And I've learned like just really smushing the egg really helps the shell kind of like come off a lot easier than trying to peel it piece by piece. So this egg is obviously having issues. <laughs> Usually they don't peel this nasty, but it's not the end of the world because I can go ahead and throw this to the chickens. Like there are pieces of egg white there and they'll just gobble it up. Okay, so this one was a really nasty one to peel. I don't know why it was so difficult. Um, but the yolk is like average size and the chickens will love eating the yolk. So they will get the yolk and the shells. Hopefully this one will peel nicer. Okay, much easier, <laughs> much easier to peel. I really don't know what was wrong with that other one. Now for the little baby one. We're gonna see, it, it cooked just as long as all the other ones, so it, it may be easy to peel or hard to peel. I really don't know, because it's so tiny. Look at how small this is. It's it, so tiny. Mommy, I want the itchy one. Okay. I, I don't want the big one. Okay. I want the itchy one. It's so small. <laughs> okay, so we got our jumbo egg and our itty bitty egg. I wanna go ahead and compare the yolk size. That's what I'm curious about. All right. Normal egg, but just a lot of egg white. Now for the baby one. Oh my gosh. I would have never guessed. I thought the yolk was gonna be like normal size. I don't feel yolk is how it is. I feel like yolk it is. It's so itty bitty. It's like proportional. <laughs> this is just so interesting. Anyways, our chickens love the yolks. So we're gonna go ahead and give the yolks to the chickens and enjoy the egg whites ourselves. confused like what's going on here it looks like the egg white is like infused with the yolk it's so strange this is so weird like look at that there's like no clear area where like there's yolk and egg white it's just all kind of infused together well, I'm glad we finally answered that, you know, mystery that has been kind of sitting in my fridge waiting for me to actually film it. So Aubrey will go ahead and enjoy her little egg whites 
and I will finish washing up the eggs and then get the ingredients in our bread machine for dinner tonight. Okay, so while this is going, Jack just woke up. So since I'm kind of still eh from today, we're gonna go ahead and go on a walk. And in an hour and 40 minutes, this dough will be ready to work with. And I will show you guys how easy it is to put together this kind of buttery Parmesan breadstick bites. But in case you're wondering, this is kind of the recipe I used. I didn't put the garlic powder in there, but everything else is the same. And then here I'm going to do some modifications, but this was kind of my recipe when I was making just standard breadsticks. Every 
Okay, we made it home. Now it is time for baths, probably because we're kind of all dirty. Juan's gonna be getting home any minute, which means I will get to shower and then we will get to dinner. Okay, so we are bathed. I'm clean and the dough has been ready. So we are gonna deal with the pizza dough and get it all ready to make some pizza and then the garlic Parmesan little cheese bites. Ta-da! Oh, it looks so good. So we're gonna plop this out on our counter and then kind of just flatten it out as like to like a half inch, quarter inch. But first a sprinkle of flour. You hurt me a dick several times. It hurts to admit that we're no different. I find it hard to commit, but you don't even try. Okay, so I got not all of it, but a good chunk of it to the thickness that I like. So it's probably like between a quarter and a half inch uh, thick. And I'm just gonna cut out a little rectangle to make a pizza with. So I'm gonna just transfer this to a rectangular sheet pan that I use for cookies. So we're gonna go ahead and use this to make a small little pizza. And then everything else, I'm just gonna kind of make a snake and cut it into tiny little like rectangular pieces for these Parmesan bites. So here, it really doesn't matter, but I'm like kind of creating a little snake. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut like little nuggets out of the dough. And I kind of want them to be like similar in size. For pieces like this, I just kind of create like, push it all back together and create another snake. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm, as I'm going, I'm just gonna place these on another sheet tray or a cookie tray and kind of space them out. They don't get too much bigger, but you know, they do uh, get a little bit bigger at least. So we wanna leave some space between these little nuggets of dough. So one reason that I actually make the pizza is the leftover dough makes so many of these nuggets. Like I've already filled up one tray almost and we're gonna get a whole bunch more from this dough. So I kind of make the pizza because otherwise I'm gonna have like too many of these like Parmesan bites. All right, so we've got this tray and this tray and then we're gonna prep the pizza. But first I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to like 415 degrees. So that'll give the like dough time to rise a little bit as we wait. So we're gonna put a little bit of oil around the perimeter and then put some sauce and cheese and so on. Okay, so this one's gonna go in the oven at 415 for, I don't know, 18 to 20 minutes. I'll let you guys know on the screen here. And then I'm gonna put the other tray in and then there's not really enough space, so this one's gonna go in after the other one. So after the little breadstick bites come out, I'm gonna toss them in here with a uh, half a stick or a stick, I guess, of melted butter and then uh, some garlic powder and oregano leaves and then we're gonna top it with some Parmesan cheese. So I've never really measured these out, but I'm gonna go ahead and do maybe like a teaspoon or two teaspoons of each. Okay. 
Okay, so these were in the oven for about 13 minutes-ish, and now we're gonna coat them with half of the butter mixture. And we can't forget the Parmesan cheese. so good. This was in for about 20 minutes and the bottom is nicely cooked and light brown. Round two. Let me know if you guys plan on making these at home. They are so good. But this is where I'm gonna end today's video. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me this afternoon for our afternoon in life. We are going to wrap up this evening by enjoying like a movie night. So that's what we will be doing. This video will be going live the day before Halloween. So if you guys are going up for Halloween, I hope you guys have a very safe and fun Halloween. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.